Hi, I am Karen Audrey, and this is Food for Soap. Today, I decided to record an episode about demisexuality. What is it? And uh, actually, uh, how it's impacting today's society? How did it come about? All the information about demisexuality is from the internet. I asked ChatGPT to assist me in writing the script. Uh, it's also from the Wikipedia. For the fun purposes, I created Ivo. She will help me out with the uh, with answering questions. What is demisexuality? Uh, why it's there? Well, hello there. Hi, my name is Iva. I am your internet virtual assistant. Hi, Iva. How may I help you? Um, what is demisexuality? Demisexuality is typically understood as a sexual orientation characterized by the need for a strong emotional connection or bond with someone before experiencing sexual attraction. Whether demisexuality is considered a social or natural phenomenon can depend on one's perspective and the context in which it is discussed. From a natural perspective, demisexuality is seen as a variation of human sexuality. Just like other sexual orientations such as heterosexuality, homosexuality, or bisexuality, demisexuality reflects how individuals naturally experience attraction. In this sense, it can be viewed as a natural phenomenon, as it describes how some people naturally form their sexual attractions and connections. However, the recognition and understanding of demisexuality as a distinct sexual orientation have evolved over time and can also be influenced by social factors. In the past, many societies and cultures placed a strong emphasis on traditional notions of sexuality, which often did not acknowledge or understand the complexity of different sexual orientations, including demisexuality. Social factors, such as changing attitudes towards sexuality and increased awareness of diverse sexual orientations, have played a role in demisexuality gaining recognition and acceptance. In summary, demisexuality can be seen as a natural phenomenon in the sense that it reflects how some individuals naturally experience sexual attraction. However, societal factors, including awareness and acceptance of diverse sexual orientations, have also played a role in shaping how demisexuality is understood and recognized. The interplay between nature and society can be complex when it comes to understanding and defining sexual orientations. In your opinion, is demisexuality a social or a natural phenomenon? Demisexuality is generally considered a sexual orientation that reflects how some individuals naturally experience sexual attraction. It is characterized by the need for a strong emotional connection or bond with someone before feeling sexual attraction. Hmm. But, wait, do you think demisexuality is a response to the overly sexualized media? While media and societal factors can influence an individual's understanding of their own sexuality, it's important to distinguish between the influence of media and the inherent nature of a person's sexual orientation. Media, including television, movies, and advertising, often portray and promote a variety of sexual behaviors and attitudes. These portrayals can shape cultural norms and expectations regarding sexuality. In this sense, the overly sexualized media may contribute to a culture that emphasizes casual or physical aspects of relationships over emotional connections. However, it's essential to recognize that not everyone will be equally influenced by media representations of sexuality, and individuals have diverse and unique sexual orientations and preferences. Demisexuality, as a natural sexual orientation, is not a direct response to the media or societal influences. Instead, it describes how some individuals naturally experience attraction, emphasizing the importance of emotional connection in their sexual desires. While societal factors can influence how individuals perceive and express their sexuality, they do not determine one's inherent sexual orientation. In summary, while media and societal influences can shape attitudes and expectations related to sexuality, demisexuality is primarily understood as a natural sexual orientation and not a direct response to these influences. It reflects how some individuals naturally experience sexual attraction, prioritizing emotional connections in their desires. Are there studies done across different age and gender groups? 
As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, research on demisexuality was relatively limited compared to more well-established sexual orientations. However, there have been some studies and surveys conducted to better understand demisexuality across different age and gender groups. Are there any statistics? It's important to note that the field of sexuality research is continually evolving, and new studies may have emerged since that time. The available research on demisexuality primarily involves surveys and self-reporting, which means that the statistics may not represent the entire population accurately. Additionally, the language and terminology related to demisexuality are still evolving and can vary from study to study. Here are some key findings from existing research, prevalence, demisexuality is thought to be less common than more widely recognized sexual orientations, such as heterosexuality, homosexuality, and bisexuality. Exact prevalence rates vary depending on the study and the population surveyed. Age groups, research on demisexuality among different age groups is limited, but there are indications that younger generations may be more aware of and accepting of diverse sexual orientations, including demisexuality. Gender, some studies suggest that demisexuality may be more commonly reported by individuals of various gender identities, including cisgender and transgender individuals. However, more research is needed to understand any potential gender-related differences. Awareness and identification, awareness and acceptance of demisexuality have been growing over time, leading to more individuals identifying as demisexual. This could partly explain variations in reported prevalence across different studies and time periods. Sexual orientation identity, demisexuality is often considered a sexual orientation, but some individuals may not identify with the label or may not be aware of it, which can affect reporting in surveys. It's essential to keep in mind that the field of sexuality research is continually evolving, and our understanding of demisexuality and other sexual orientations may change as more research is conducted. Additionally, demographics and awareness may vary across different cultures and regions, further influencing statistics. For the most up-to-date and accurate information on demisexuality and its prevalence across age and gender groups, I recommend consulting recent scholarly articles and studies in the field of human sexuality. Researchers and scholars continue to explore and document various aspects of human sexuality, including emerging sexual orientations like demisexuality. What is your advice for a demisexual person on finding the partner in the modern world of dating apps? Dating in the modern world, especially through dating apps, can be challenging for demisexual individuals who prioritize emotional connections before experiencing sexual attraction. However, there are strategies and tips that can help demisexual people navigate the dating app scene more effectively. Be honest about your demisexuality. It's crucial to be upfront and honest about your demisexuality in your dating app profile. Mentioning that you value emotional connections and take time to develop them can help filter out potential matches who may not be compatible with your approach to relationships. Take your time, one of the benefits of online dating is that you can communicate and get to know potential partners before meeting in person. Take advantage of this by chatting, video calling, and building a connection gradually. Don't rush into meeting in person or engaging in physical intimacy until you feel comfortable. Use apps with compatibility features. Some dating apps have features that allow you to filter potential matches based on values, interests, and compatibility. These features can help you find people who may be more aligned with your emotional connection preferences. Communicate your needs. When you start talking to someone, communicate your needs and expectations clearly. Let your potential partner know that you value emotional connection and that you prefer to take things slow. This can help set the right expectations from the beginning. Participate in interest-based communities. Some dating apps and websites cater to specific interests or communities. Joining these platforms can increase your chances of meeting people who share your passions and may be more likely to understand your demisexuality. Trust your instincts. If you feel pressured or uncomfortable by someone you meet on a dating app, trust your instincts and prioritize your well-being. You should never feel obligated to engage in any activity that goes against your boundaries or comfort level. Be patient. Finding a compatible partner can take time, especially when you prioritize emotional connections. Be patient and don't be discouraged by setbacks or unsuccessful matches. It's more important to find the right person who respects and understands your needs. Seek support. 
consider seeking support and advice from demisexual or LGBTQ plus communities, both online and offline. Connecting with others who share similar experiences can be comforting and provide valuable insights. Remember that finding the right partner can take time for anyone, regardless of their sexual orientation or preferences. Be true to yourself, communicate openly, and prioritize your own emotional well-being in your dating journey. It's essential to find a partner who respects and appreciates your demisexuality and is willing to build a meaningful emotional connection with you. Are there dating platforms that include demisexuality as an option? As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, most mainstream dating platforms do not have specific options or categories for demisexuality in their profiles or search filters. However, individuals can still use these platforms to connect with potential partners while being upfront about their demisexuality in their profiles or during conversations. Here are a few ways you can navigate dating platforms, include demisexuality in your profile, while most dating apps and websites do not have a specific demisexuality category, you can mention your demisexuality in your profile's text. You can explain that you value emotional connections and take time to develop them. This can help attract individuals who are more compatible with your approach to relationships. Use the app's messaging features. Once you match with someone and start a conversation, you can use the messaging features to explain your demisexuality and your dating preferences. Open and honest communication is key. Look for interest-based communities. Some dating apps have specific communities or groups where individuals with similar interests or orientations can connect. Exploring these communities may help you find people who are more understanding and compatible with your demisexuality. Use LGBTQ plus or niche dating apps. Some LGBTQ plus dating apps or niche dating platforms cater to individuals with diverse sexual orientations and preferences. While these apps may not specifically list demisexuality, they can be more inclusive and understanding of different orientations. Seek out demisexual communities. Consider joining demisexual or asexual communities on social media or specialized forums. These communities may provide resources and advice on dating and relationships. It's worth noting that the landscape of dating apps and platforms is continually evolving, and new platforms may emerge that are more inclusive and provide options for individuals with diverse sexual orientations. It's a good idea to keep an eye out for updates or new apps that may better cater to your needs as a demisexual person. Additionally, as societal awareness and acceptance of diverse sexual orientations grow, dating platforms may become more inclusive and provide options for a wider range of orientations in the future. Thank you, Iva. It was very illuminating. Uh, so this is the information provided by ChatGPT. If you have further questions, ask below. I will make a video about it. I hope you find this information helpful. Have a nice day. Happy birthday to all the September kids and especially EM. Happy birthday EM. Is there and dating platforms that include demisexuality as an option? I will withhold my personal judgment about what I have just heard. Um, just note the information came from ChatGPT 